All right, everybody, welcome to another broadcast of Monica at Home. I am Alexandra, better known as Monica Foster, from the site that I made specifically for these broadcasts, www.monicaathome.com. Now, I hope everybody had a decent Memorial Day. I had a pretty good one, very relaxing. I do want to um, take a few moments to thank all of the troops out there, those who are with us and also those who have fallen on behalf of protecting our freedoms and protecting our country. You know, a lot of people take living in the United States for granted. They think that a lot of the freedoms here are a given and that nobody ever had to die for them or um, fight to gain them. And I actually think that's why a lot of people don't respect um, our country. It, it really seems that way. You have a lot of people who claim to be freedom fighters and you claim to be all about the freedom of speech, but in actuality, they're using that as a guise in order to abuse the freedoms, which many people have died for over the years. And um, that's something that I'll be talking about today. But for those of you who are joining for the first time, Monica at Home is a little project that I began a couple years ago now, which initially was about me. I used to be in the adult entertainment industry, specifically the Los Angeles porn industry. I'm still in adult entertainment because I'm still a webcam girl or webcam model. But the show used to be just about me and my journey through the porn industry. Then later, um, it became more so about the porn industry itself and the technicalities in regards to it and uh, just how it functions. And then later, up to present, it's really about what's wrong with the porn industry, why the Los Angeles porn industry is the worst career choice you could ever make for yourself. I'm not against porn as a concept, I'm against the Los Angeles porn industry specifically, and the majority of the people who are in it, attached to it, and who facilitate it, because they are evil. I'm not going to mince words, I'm not going to say they're not professional. I'm not going to say that they're mean. I'm going to straight up say that they're evil because they are. And if you watch my most recent broadcast, you'll understand why I feel that way. But um, I suppose today's broadcast will be a hybrid between Monica at Home, PornNewsToday.com, which is my porn industry news blog, and Christian Porn Star, which is a movement of which I like to express that I feel that even if you are an adult entertainer, there's still room in your life for God and Jesus Christ because in the end that's what's going to help you get out because eventually you will want to get out trust me so anyway um that's what this broadcast is about for those who are watching for the first time now this is all lots is going on since the last time I uh, did a broadcast here lots is going on for those of you who want to catch up on your porn news all you gotta do is go to my blog www.pornnewstoday.com um, My main website, monicaf.com, currently is down. It's under renovation. It will be back up on online tomorrow. I have a lot of exciting projects which are finally going to be implemented starting probably June 3rd. So everybody look out for those. And of course, make sure that you follow me on Twitter. And my Twitter address is www.twitter.com forward slash Monica Foster. But again, my real name is Alexandra. So anyway, today, today, there are some, there's something that just happened. To, and being that a lot of young people um, do tune in to Monica at Home, I feel like I need to go ahead and talk about this first. It's a news story out of South Florida. The headline says, Did synthetic drugs cause a naked man to eat the face of a homeless man? You heard me right. This happened in Miami. This is a news story on WTSP.com. I'm going to read a bit. I'll read the whole thing to you guys, and then I'll tell you why this is so important and how this relates to the porn industry. Because I've discovered something. I've not written the article about it yet. I'm going to post it tonight, though, on Porn News Today. Because if you thought the porn industry was dangerous before, you ain't seen nothing. Here we go. This is a story out of Tampa. Actually, well, it's written from Tampa. The story exploded and went viral. 
a naked man eating the flesh off another man's face on a busy Miami thoroughfare. Larry Vega saw the attack and watched as police arrived, ordered the attacker to stop and described what happened next. He said, get off, told him several times, and the guy just stood his head up like with a piece of skin hanging out of his mouth, he said. When the attacker didn't stop, the officer shot and killed him. Miami medical experts believe the man was most likely under the influence of synthetic drugs, like bath salts or fake marijuana, the same drugs Florida Poison Control in Tampa warns against. 10 News acquired official police pictures of the attacker and the eaten victim at the crime scene and showed them to Cynthia Younger, MD, the doctor who runs that Tampa department. Mm, yeah, that's very sad, she said. Dr. Younger said new synthetic drugs called synthetic cathinones have been known to cause violent psychotic behavior and may explain the attack. Any drug that causes an effect, either a high or a low, goes through a membrane called the blood-brain barrier into the brain and changes the chemicals. Dr. Younger said that these changes can manifest themselves in many behaviors, some violent, so special warnings go out to parents that since, since synthetic drugs can be just as, sometimes even more dangerous than drugs like ecstasy and crystal meth, and they need to be discussed. We should at least be saying, this is not okay, and you can hurt yourself. Now, the reason I wanted to read that story, now this story was just posted, I believe, today, but the reason that this is important is that the porn industry is pushing these synthetic drugs. The Los Angeles porn industry is pushing these synthetic drugs, such as bath salts and synthetic marijuana, which is sold as herbal incense. And you want to know who is one of the companies or one of the porn studios or one of the porn pushers, really, who is pushing these synthetic drugs that can drive you to meet, eat, a, eat a man's face right off him when he's alive? Will Ryder, a.k.a. Jeff Mullen. How do I know this? Well, last week I did very extensive research on it. I'm going to post the entire story tonight on PornNewsToday.com. The reason that, or the way I was even able to come across this was that I was trying to get off of his damn mailing list. I keep getting all these mass emails still from all media play when everybody knows how I feel about Will Ryder, AKA Jeff Mullen, because he is one of the pornographers who has pushed the concept of pedophilia into the mainstream porn circuit. He did it on Not the Brady's Triple X, and he did it on Not the Cosby's Triple X too. But I guess that's not enough. Not for him, not for, not for a sitcoms which was initially, I believe, all media play. Now, when I tried to get myself off that mailing list, I had the email from all media play bounced back to me. So I decided to go to the website to see if there was any kind of unsubscribe link, but the website's gone. And I thought to myself, like, where'd the website go? And in its place, and if you, if you guys go there right now, you can see this. Go to www.allmediaplay.com. Now, allmediaplay.com used to link to the porn studio, All Media Play, which I don't know what happened to it. That's something for someone to investigate. But I can pretty much figure out why um, it's not All Media Play anymore. But now you'll see it goes to Herbal Incense Megastore. Herbal Incense Megastore is one of these companies that is pushing these synthetic drugs to 18-year-olds plus. I mean, really, even younger kids. And it's driving them insane. I mean, you got this one guy trying to eat a man's face off of somebody else when they're alive. That's crazy. Actually, when I sit here and I really think about it, I wonder how much of this synthetic marijuana they're giving to the porn girls. Maybe that's why they're uh, so many of them are acting so erratic. Maybe they think that they're smoking regular marijuana and they're not. Not to say you should do that either, because you shouldn't. Not at all, but um, my point is that it's the porn industry that's trying to sell this to, to all of you, the public out there, and obviously it's dangerous. I mean, porn is the current psychological drug, okay? It's controlling more of our behavior and our thought processes and everything than many people want to even admit, but... 
now it's it's not just a psychological drug that the Los Angeles porn industry is pushing. It's actual synthetic drugs that are leading to all kinds of health problems and psychotic episodes within people. So like I said, I'm probably not explaining this um, as adequately as I should. I will write an entire article in regards to this on www.pornnewstoday.com. But everybody out there, please do not attempt to try these herbal incenses. You know, they, they say, oh yeah, you know, it's a synthetic high, it's a legal high. I mean, this Will Ryder idiot even has registered blogs, um, which I guess are supposed to be Charlie Sheen, where, where they're pushing this stuff. He's trying to utilize Charlie Sheen and Brie Olson from what I found, and I screen capped all this. I've got the links, you know, so if anyone's watching and they're trying to notify him, like, oh, hey, take this down, it's too late. It's too late. And I'm also sending my entire report on this to the FBI. Um, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Who knows how many young people are going to end up with long-term health issues from smoking this um, herbal incense. I mean, they write on the package, hey, not for human consumption, but the kids are doing it. The teenagers are doing it. Young adults are doing it. Same with these herbal bath salts. So the whole way that they market it is saying, oh, you know, you can pass a drug test with this, but you can still get high. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So that's something I wanted to discuss today, but please visit PornNewsToday.com for an in-depth article. Please tell your friends, do not smoke this mess because you don't know what kind of chemicals are in it. And it comes straight out of the Los Angeles porn industry from what I can see. And those people, they're the most disgusting, despicable, evil, negative creatures on this planet. I've dealt with them. Trust me when I say what I'm saying.